air pressure losses um, in, in, in pneumatic system. To calculate air pressure losses, this is the formula called Harris formula is used to calculate the air pressure losses. Now C is a constant for a schedule 40 commercial pipe. The value of C is determined by this equation. Now generally the higher the schedule is the the stronger the pipes are and and all of these uh, schedule 20 40 80 all oh, the, the properties of those pipes uh, can be found in any textbook also they are available online these days you can simply google and find their properties now the interesting thing about those pipes you see that nominal dimension the pipe that says half inch they're not really half inch their diameter is actually this for a schedule 40 so um, they're not so when they call nominal pipe size half inch then typically their internal diameter however you see they're not exactly 0 0.5 they're a little bit off anyway so this can be found from online because uh, or from a textbook we need to use this d in the equation the diameter so let's quickly explain this equation c is a constant that that comes from here that is also associated with diameter so if you convert that equation just replacing C, you get this. Now, you know Q, which is the flow rate, standard cubic uh, feet per second. In standard means 68 degree Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius and zero PSI gas or atmospheric pressure simply, ATM pressure. Now, uh, CR is the uh, compression ratio. It's a one single thing, which is a pressure inside the pipe divided by the atmospheric pressure and L is the length. Now to calculate length, uh, uh, we have to also consider fittings like uh, um, T's, 90 degree elbows, 45. So we have fittings, not just the pipe. So when we calculate friction losses, remember in hydraulics, we have to separately calculate the losses in this. Here you don't have to. Um, you can simply use this uh, available table for the equivalent length. Now, what is equivalent length? Equivalent length is this. We know that these fittings, they lost more um, than a straight pipe. So equivalent length is for this T, uh, this type of T, you see that equivalent length given is 4.2. What that means is a 4.2 feet of pipe a straight pipe has exact same loss as these connections so we can simply if we add 4.2 feet of length with this l then we are actually accounting this t so just add all the connections and pipes and then total length input in this equation now in old days they didn't have fancy calculators so d power 5.31 is also calculated here so which you can use you don't really have to uh, put that in the calculator either so just calculate the compression ratio and then flow rate typically will be given will say is flow rate is this mass and the length and then you can find the compression ratio which you have to calculate so the pressure divided by the atmospheric pressure now if it's in f e english system you simply do psi whatever that absolute value is divide by 14.7 psi absolute atmospheric pressure so let's say a compressor is running at 120 psi so 120 psi gives plus 14.7 psi divided by 14 0.7 so that would be compression ratio so i hope this explain how to use this um, uh, friction loss calculation formula so this pressure loss once we know the pressure loss in a system we can calculate the horsepower loss and you know cost and things like that